Welcome back, ladies and gents. We've got this beautiful Seamoth. We've got everything arranged. We're pretty low on uh, kind of uh, resources now. We've just spent them all on uh, all our vehicles. We had a message uh, earlier on to go to the LifePod 19, to the, the location of Officer Keen's last broadcast. We'll take that. Um, just cook this. And top up our, our food here. Here we go. Right, we've got all this titanium, so let's go and put that. It's just for it's just just keep everything, keeping everything organised. That's what takes the uh, the bulk of the time. Because I'm an anal uh, little bugger, I quite like that. I like everything in its right place. A bit OCD, a bit autistic. Everything in its right place, in its right place, in its right place. Fauna, 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 where are you? Flora, sorry. Put you in here and... No, we can't. Right, we could do with some more water at some points. But I think we're doing okay at the moment. I might just consume it. Let's put this in the misc. It's our uh, our tooth, our stalker tooth. Well, I'll keep the Mogul vehicle bay, even though it's just taking huge amounts of chunks away. We will keep our sea glide just in case we want to venture away from the sea moth. We got our repair tool, but we did have a cutter tool, did we not? Or did we not create that yet? Um, let's see what we need for the cutter tool. The laser cutter, we need a battery, a diamond, we got one diamond. Okay, so when we get that other diamond, we'll, we know we're in business. So we'll keep an eye out for a diamond. Okay, what I want to do is I want to head back to the, n the, the, the north east to find that island. Um, I think it was the north east. I think it's over here, yeah. We're just going to go investigate those caves if we can. So we can't we, we can't pick things up in our sea moth. We've got to exit it if we want to have a look at things. That's fair enough. So we've been in it about a minute. Cutting tool, do we, do we not? Been in about a minute and we're, we're down to 99, so the power cell does tick down. Let's just have a look, see if we can see this island. I think we're, we're happening upon it down here. Let's just have a around the place. This is great! What a long way we've come so far! What's that there? Passing 100 meters. Oxygen Mobile vehicle bay, we've got one of those. I love that it is permanent oxygen. I didn't even figure that. Titanium. I didn't even figure we'd have a machine with permanent oxygen. Just you can just take your time and, and, and view things better, can't you? You're not pressed. Oh Oh dear. How do you repair it, I wonder? 
How do you repair it? Enter Seamoth. Do you repair it in the mobile vehicle bay? Probably. Because I've just taken a massive chunk out of it. Well, here's our island. There we go. Do you remember that cave system we were in? I wonder if we can access it from below here. Seemingly yes. This is exciting. I don't want to bash the bishop and uh, ruin the sea moth. Will I get out of here again, though? That's the that's the question. Seventy-five percent. Just stop crashing it, basically. Just gonna grab that. And that. Hang on, let's grab our torch. That's a diamond. That's the diamond we wanted. That's Tickety Boo. Okay, so we can make our cutter now. Good. Now, do you think I'm going to be able to find my way out of this cave? Not likely. As you guys know, I turned... turn two directions and uh, that's me done for in terms of locating a, a way out well, it looks interesting down there doesn't it I think if you wanted to, there's some brain coral around. If you wanted to, you really could. Um, just go from brain coral to brain coral and have a look around. So I'm wondering if there's anything more... The diamonds are obviously very useful to get in here. Oh, just twatted a thing. Okay, we're out. The diamonds were very useful to grab. Don't get me wrong. Lovely. But that cave system, you know, didn't have any overt secrets. So 200 metres is, is the, the ideal... Oh, I just jumped up like an absolute salmon. Here we go. Right, okay. I'm going to park it just over here. And then we're going to do what we should have done a while ago, which is just investigate. What in the world? Ooh. Let's just grab a few of these as well, because I think you can eat these. And 
just take them directly as water, right? Yeah, they're, they're good stuff. They're proper good stuff. Oh, wow. You don't, don't need to refine them. You can just eat them straight from the tree. It's nature's goodness. Oh. It's not inexhaustible, though. That is great. Right. So that, as we remember, is a fuck-off gun. I think Scaramanga's living there. Okay, we are going to go through the door, but I'm just interested to get a bit closer. And yes. Now, what on earth do you use these tablets for? What on earth? There's the other side of the aurora. This looks like a little bit of a path, doesn't it? What are you? Okay. Um, stay away, stay away. Yeah. in the devil right those things are you know they're not overtly aggressive but if you get near them they will touch you up right that was a fair amount You piss off. Right, I did kill it, but it, it, it's taken quite a chunk away. So let's... What do these speckled rattlers do? Right. Oh, lost our knife. Die. Right, scan. So we've got these pink caps and these speckled rattlers. A land-based fungus species with harvestable spores, but they're inedible. Oh, you get stuffed. They're just going to keep coming, aren't they? Here he is. Right, have we got another... Um... No, we're going to die. Oh no, it's just we have. Let's take one of these. Right, let's scan you. A speckled rattler. What do you do, my son? A brittle land plant containing large spores which generates a characteristic rattle when the plant is shaken. This may act to ward off predators or even encourage predation as a means of spreading the spores. Okay. What, what are you there? Lithium. Yes, we do need lithium. We want lithium. We encourage it. Now we're going up the top of this mountain for some reason. When I we had a perfectly good door that we could have looked through. Oh, there's more lithium here. Oh, it's another one of these doors. Diamonds, yes. It's all going our way. Don't know what that was. Get another lithium. Now. Move away. Insert ion cube. Do we have an ion cube? Now we've got a purple tablet. 
we need an ion cube. What do we... What does that mean? I'm, I'm trying to... Uh, I'm trying to scan it, but it's not letting us. It's another one of these arches. We know what the arches are. So when we get an ion cube, wherever that may be, we can insert it and... Is it a ticket to ride somewhere, I wonder? Right, let's move away from these bitches. Don't know what that's meant to be. Right, I was enjoying this sky ray till you crabby little bitch got in the way. Right, okay, there's, there's our seam off. We can continue to go up. I don't know what we'll find, but we can continue. <coughs> Nothing. We can't find anything. We don't want to die, of course. Oh, oh God. Right, let's head back down towards the sea moth and see what that gate at the bottom is all about. There's another, another bloody tablet! Inventory full though, not for long mate. We're not leaving that. Let's drop one of these. Right, that's the way we came, wasn't it? And then, then we headed up here. Right, let's head back down. It's all very mysterious but also very sexy whoa okay yeah let's not do that back where we started. All right, well, let's go down the other side and see if that door is uh, open to us. Don't need that anymore, do we? I still don't know how to deselect items to not hold anything, you know. Still do not know. Right, let's have a look down in that door. I oh, oh dear. That was inadvisable. Insert tablet. Well. Wow. Okay, we can finish scanning this bitch. Scans indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. No match is found in database. Performing structural analysis. This is a sky ray. The sky ray has a bird-like head and feathered wings which enable it to fly. Sky rays are commonly found circling floating structures. Uh, structures and rarely venture far out to sea. They will perch on dry land but are prone to flee on approach. Although its wings give it some resemblance in silhouette to the waterborne rays on 4546b, analysis shows no greater genetic overlap with those species than the planetary average. In fact, the sky ray appears to have split off the evolutionary tree much earlier than most. So it eats seeds. Uh, they haven't been observed diving for food, which they uh, implies that they're land-based. Presence may indicate nearby dry land. All right, well, I think I'm going to see the land before I see the sky ray. What are you showing us here, game? What are you showing us? I just, I just choose the knife because it's the most inoffensive, but how I put it away, I do not know. It's uh, made by Altera, though, this knife. 
Well, so all the, the, the kind of motifs uh, are all pretty much the same um, in, it, in its look. It's got this kind of glyph type design with this green highlighted stuff. Oh, what's this? What's this? What's it giving me a trophy for here? Find the enforcement platform. Okay. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Discovered inside, this is an alien data terminal. Discovered inside an alien facility, it was not possible to translate any useful information. However, scans have returned some information on the device itself. It's likely a solid state computer, although there is no clear way to interface with it. On approach, it began producing a low frequency radio wave containing complex but recognizable data patterns. It is likely the alien species which designed this tech evolved or genetically selected sensory apparatus to hear and understand the information being broadcast by the device and to communicate back. The mental processing power required to perform this kind of telepathy would imply the designers were considerably more psychologically developed than the common human. So we've downloaded that data, but we cannot listen to it yet. Unknown language. Attempting translation. So I wonder if we can get the tools to sort it later. Okay. Strange. Now, is that one of those cubes? That's an ion cube. That is an ion cube that we've just picked up. And back at that gate, we could use that ion cube. There's another ion cube. And another. We've got one more space for, for another one. No, this is a data download. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Enforcement platform schematic. This data set appears to be a multi-dimensional schematic of some kind. By mapping the pattern to three-dimensional space, it is possible to gather a basic understanding of this facility's internal workings. So the construction material, the facility's unknown construction material is identified as an ultra-hard, non-reactive metal amalgam, synthesized from off-world materials. There is no indication that it can be damaged or destroyed by available means. So we don't, it's a, it's a, it's a metal amalgam that it's created uh, from, and we can't <laughs> physically dent it. So the schematic indicates the facility was to be powered by a separate self-sustaining power plant located elsewhere on the planet. The location is not listed, but there is evidence the designers intended to harness the planet's natural thermal energy. Well, we, we have seen a bit of that thermal energy down in that cave that we couldn't venture into. And now we've got the sea moth. We need to try and remember where that is. It's southwest of our um, life pod. Facility consists of the upper engineering section where the schematic was found and the control room which is accessed via a security sealed elevator shaft or a separate underwater moon pool. Facility consists of an upper engineering section and the control room which is accessed via a security sealed elevator shaft or a separate underwater moon pool. Well, where do we find that? In the cave? The control room in the lower section houses the only known way to interface with the facility. However, the schematic does not detail the operation procedure or installed security measures. So this is an... We're in the upper area if this is the schematic that we found. What's that? Just... 
your best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. Oh my word, I didn't mean to go down there, but I did. Now this is all very well and good, but I'm worried about our food and water because I've not brought any. <sighs> Jesus. Now that, I think we go into there, and that is water. That's what I believe. And this is the moon pool, quite clearly, isn't it? This is the moon pool. But let's have a look away from the moon pool for now. Goodness me. I'm really glad no one's home. Another one of these. That's our way back up, I'm, I'm assuming. So let's go and en enjoy the moon pool. So what did it say there? It said, uh, The control room in the lower section has the only known way to interface with the facility. However, the schematic does not detail... Sorry. It says of an upper engineering section. And the control room, which is accessed via the moon pool. Okay. Passing 100 metres. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Okay, we've been out here before, haven't we? So there is our... Over the other side of the island is our sea moth. That's interesting. All right, well, let's go back in and climb back up those stairs. How do we get out? How do we get out? Like that. Let's have a look up those stairs. Okay, so we know we can get up through here with our special sexy little moon pool. Here's another gate. This is another gate. What are you? What are you? That's some kind of cutting machine, right? How do we get you? That looks like a weapon, doesn't it? Oh, that's upsetting. Right, let's head up and see what we see. What's that say? That's another tablet. What are we going to get rid of? Um, let's get rid of a, one of these pink caps. Oh, we can't! Okay, well, we've got to go down to the moon pool and get rid of it that way. Is, am I right in thinking that? We can't get rid of it unless... I mean, we can eat one of these. That's probably the easiest thing to do. Easiest and wisest of things to do. Now, what are all these beautiful little contraptions? And how do we... And where is the chase and how do we cut to it? So we can get our greasy little mitts onto it. Scans indicate the facility's control room lies beyond this doorway. So, if you remember, the facility is basically a, a massive gun. It's sort of a anti-aircraft missile alien thing. So, either it was automatic and it was it's trained to shoot anything that enters its atmosphere, or it was manned or aliened by something. Yes, please. Oh, my word. Oh, you're joking. What did you do there? Please say you were just taking a sample. 
and not in the control panel is broadcasting a message translation reads warning infected individuals may not disable the weapon this planet is under quarantine uh Translating background broadcast. Downloading summary to databank. Um, we've got the alien. What do, we, what do we have there? Facility locations. We need to move away. I can't, we can't read it. Intercepted background data regarding further alien facilities elsewhere on the planet. Disease research facility. I think we're we're infected. We did say we were infected before, but I've I've kind of put it to the back of my mind. Intercepted back to home data regarding further alien facilities elsewhere on the planet. Disease research facility, depth eighteen hundred meters, location cave systems with extensive fossil records southwest of enforcement platform. Okay, so that's where we are now, the enforcement platform. Synthesis of antidote for highly infectious bacterium desidated Cara. We've got Cara. Um, I need a Cara support group. Seek fluid intake. Thermal power facility, depth 1200 meters, location inside an extensive natural rock formation in an area of intense volcanic activity. Generate energy for all facilities, 1200 meters, that's quite the depth, isn't it? 800 meters is the depth. So sanctuary A and B are corrupted. Offsite lab corrupted. Primary container facility corrupted. In the event of an outbreak, quarantine procedures will be automatically enforced with immediate effect. The quarantine the quarantine enforcement platform will target all income, incoming and outgoing craft to prevent the spread of infections. So that's what it's doing. That is what it's doing. There's a pandemic of Cara going on everyone's wearing a mask everyone's keeping their distance and no one's allowed in, allowing anyone into the borders uh, and they're being turned away judiciously um, with a very very high powered laser they're just they're just protecting them and theirs that it's, it's nothing personal it's nothing personal I reckon they're a peace-loving, um, very rational race. And I reckon that, you know, it makes them sad to have to shoot indiscriminately ships out the sky, whether it be, even if it is not their species. They don't want to do it, but they're protecting their civilization in any way they can. You're damn straight Biden or Johnson would do the same thing. Okay. Yes, we're, we're low on water, we know that. We'll take another one of these. Oh! Oh, that's no good. What? 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 Why did it... I'm going to die. I am going to die. Why? Is it because it was old? Is it because it was old, that bulba tree thing? Which way am I going? Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna die. There's just no doubt about it. Ooh. Where's it gonna send us? Take us? I hope it's, we keep all our tablets and eye on things. I hope we keep all those. It's gonna take us right back to the beginning, isn't it? Oh yeah, we kept all those. That's okay. But we need to go and grab our seam off. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Right, where is our... So we're over there. 
so we need to go the other way and go back to the island back to the island what's that from is that from lost back to the island we need to get back to the island i think it's from lost okay so those bulba trees uh i'm there's two things that went through my mind there it was an old ingredient and we needed to um, head northeast. We needed to, here's our seam off. We needed to eat it quickly or inside those alien areas it's infected. I mean, let, let, let's, let's self-scan ourselves. Self-scan complete. Bacterial infection in your system is progressing. Detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. Okay. Well, it's given a couple of areas to look at. But we need to get down to 800 meters. So I think we, we need one of those Cyclops machines, at least, to get down to that, to that kind of depth. And maybe other equipment besides. So... I don't know if it's a race against time. I, I, I'm not. I'm not sure if that's the case. But we we may be in trouble. If we don't uh, kind of pursue pursue this. Right, we could, if we get a, a, our cutting tool in order, which we could have done then. But I'm, I'm keen to go and get up to the top of that mountain and put one of those ion things in there. Yeah, we, we kind of need to focus on just developing our equipment at the moment, because we will get there. But we've also got this alien mystery. Man... How engaging is it? That's it? It's engaging enough just surviving and finding the things to explore. But having this mystery of an alien uh, civilization that have uh, succumbed or are succumbing or are controlling a, a virus, a pandemic. Um, and we had a, a something there that we had to access, didn't we? Something there that we could access, but we couldn't do it while we're infected. It's a little bit like Horizon Zero Dawn in that she's got to um, find the alpha registry that's currently corrupted. Um, and once she does that, she can get into the doors. And it looks like a similar situation there. We couldn't control that place. And, I, and if we're going to get off this planet we need to disable that that's what i'm thinking but how on earth are we going to get off the planet but for now let's head up and with our special ion things ion cubes and drop it into that bitch and see what it says i was under the impression that if we did drop one in there it was like a gate a gate to another another world another place phase gate maybe which is what uh, Altera were trying to build yeah, I don't quite know where we're going though in here yes it was okay now is it going to be more information or is it going to take us somewhere where are you taking us doing
Now, are we at the other side? This is another area, right? This is another place. With lots of caps and rattlers. That is... Oh, wow. We're a kilometre... Two and a half kilometres away. We're over the other side of the... Of the life pod. Oh, is this the one we saw under the cave? No, it's different, isn't it? Okay. Well, let's try and see where it's taken us. I don't know if it's got any exit. It does. We're moving on up. It's a, a transportation system. I think this is uh, technology that Altera were looking to build themselves in some way. <gasps> I am absolutely in awe of this game. This is phenomenal. We're, we're right at the back. Picking up multiple energy signatures on the island's surface. Yeah, you are. Voxel Shrub. A pink leaf plant with an angular appearance which grows exclusively on land. Can we grab a sample? We can, and what does it afford us? Mm, it's, we've got a seed. We've got a seed, that's what we got. A Jaffa Cup. It's a common land fungus found in clusters. Grows quickly, size is limited only by available nutrients and space. Now the inventory's full. Um, well, we don't need all of those, do we? Or do we? I want to get rid of a couple of pink caps. That Jaffa spore is quite large. Grub basket. Lots of stuff. I wonder if this is the main purpose of this. Is to f is to a common uh, a grub basket. An orange-coloured land plant, which usually contains a thick protein which sludges its base. This may suggest a carnivorous life cycle, wherein grubs and insects are attracted to the bright petals, make their way to the centre of the plant, but are unable to scale back up their slick inner leaves and are ultimately digested. Well, I'm loath to get rid of much. Maybe a couple of lithiums? Which will allow us to get one of these. And now we're f full to the brim. I might get rid of the, the titanium next. We need those diamonds. Goodness me, this is not what I expected to happen going in there. Ming plant. A hardy specimen which grows on land, the vase like trunk protects the root system from predation and self repairs over time, explaining the characteristic cracks on the slide. <sighs> Alright, well, we know where this island is. We don't know why we're here, mind, but we know where it is. Let's just continue round. I've no idea where, what we're going to do. It says it was detecting an energy signature, which is the same thing that the the, um, 
the, the island over there said to said to us. So it looks like it's got like a central bay in the middle. What's that? That looks nice, doesn't it? Let's see how we can get round. I was tempted to dive in. I was tempted to dive in. Where are you taking us, game? More of these crabby little bitches. Right. That is, of course, promising up there, isn't it? <gasps> wow. Well, Altira have been here before. That's clear. And they've got an exterior <coughs> piss off. An exterior grow bed. Near blueprint acquired. I'm getting up here out of the way of this bitch. Just won't leave us alone. was um oh we've not looked at this energy core that's right where we were injected or or they drew samples this is what was given to us the device houses energy equivalent to a hundred megaton nuclear detonation which can be channeled through the facility and directed at vessels overhead well yeah or bend around the planet's gravitational pull to strike targets in orbit power is routed via the attached terminal so that's probably what happened to um the aurora isn't it because it, it didn't want to come onto the island that's not that wasn't what it needed to do it was it was targeted Calorie intake recommended. It was targeted well before it even knew it was going to be entered into. Uh, are these one of these bulb trees? Yes. Well, we need one of these, don't we? If we're going to eat. Um, what will we drop? What will we drop? So we just drop some of these? Reason being. Right, consume. Good. Vital signs stabilizing. Let's just keep going to keep the the wolf from the door. So it's ten water and eight food. And if we want to, we can pick one of these up. Instead of what we dropped, so marble melon. So, so what was that what have we got? Um, oh, you piss off, you crabby little bitch! Good. Right, where are you? Here, exterior artificial bled plant bed suitable for use on land or underwater, so that, so we can grow items. And these seeds that we've got, that's how we're growing them. So if we keep one of these bulba tree seed thingies, we can build one of those. We just need two titanium, and we can make a food source in or around 
our base. Yes, we can. Stasis rifle fragments. Now, that looks very much like the tech that was in the uh, alien structure, didn't it? This stasis rifle uses patents and technology to slow time around an entity to as near to a full stop as the law of physics will permit essentially anchoring the target in place without affecting its internal workings. It is designed to facilitate scientific and engineering operations by expanding the window of opportunity for action in time-sensitive scenarios. So the, the features, it features an independent replaceable power cell and the trigger may be held down to increase the area of effect and duration. So slowing fast-moving mechanisms such as fan belts to facilitate maintenance, interesting, Temporarily incapacitating organisms for research purposes, also interesting. Navigating perilous spaces by freezing potential threats, may not function correctly on larger life forms. The Alterostasis Rifle, life's fast, why not put it on pause? Life's fast, why not put it on pause? The Alterostasis Rifle. Life's fast. Why not put it on pause? Life's fast. Why not put it on pause? Right. I think we need to take these seed things back with us. So that's the voxel shrub seed. Let's get rid of that titanium and that gold. <laughs> And then let's pick this up. Can't can't yet. Need more. One of these diamonds. A uh, couple of these lithiums. And let's pick up this marble melon. And this Chinese potato. So I'm thinking we can plant them, and then once we've got the seed, we can self seed more. That's what I'm thinking. Um, maybe we don't need all these foxhole shrub seeds. Maybe we just need one. And I'll, I'll probably remove that and that. And one of these. And then we can pick up this Chinese potato. Or we can also scan it. The Chinese potato is common throughout the China territories where synthetic foods are still stigmatized. So this was brought from planet Earth. And there remain large tracts of arable land on which to grow fresh produce. Genetically designed prior to the expansion, this plant is highly adaptable to different environments and a staple of new colonies, galaxies worldwide. This plant collects water from the air rather than relying on its root system and produces large fleshy fruits which are both edible and have atypic atypically high water content. So the assessment is it's edible with high water content. Look at this. What, what, what's, what are you over there? That's the stasis rifle. How many more of these do we need? Hell yeah. New blueprint acquired. Where's that stasis rifle? Where are you, Rifle? That'd be probably in the tools, won't it? So a computer chip, a battery, magnetite, which I've never heard of, and titanium. So we're getting towards the state of having some weapons. Let's pick up this PDA. So this is another Degassi voice log. Where is that thing? What is that thing? I don't know. I found it outside in the sand. Uh, part of another ship? None I've ever seen. It's not even scratched. I, I, don't fool around with it. It might be worth something. Stand down, Chief. 
If it were gonna crumble to dust, it would have done so when I picked it up. It's glowing. We're not the first people to come to this planet. People? Maybe. Could be aliens. Could be the damn sea monsters for all we know. One thing for sure, we ain't gonna find out by staying here. So. We've heard from Marguerite. Marguerite is the freelance security personnel. So now, talking, the only legitimate part of Paul Torgel. So Bart and Paul are there with her. But Marguerite didn't sound like she was like their subordinate. She sounded almost like she was bossing them about. Whereas Paul and Bart, they own a whole corporation. They must be the richest people that she knows. But she's speaking to her like that. Let's just listen to that again. What is that thing? I don't know. I found it outside in the sand. Uh, part of another ship? None I've ever seen. It's not even scratched. I, I, don't fool around with it. It might be worth something. Stand down, Chief. If it were going to crumble to dust, it would have done so when I picked it up. It's glowing. We're not the first people to come to this planet. People? Maybe. Could be aliens. Could be the damn sea monsters for all we know. One thing for sure, we ain't gonna find out by staying here. Right, they're talking about this purple tablet, which I'm loath to leave. Um... God, we're really suffering now, aren't we? Uh, let's just get rid of one of these. So Paul is a Sco Scottish, uh, and he's in charge of a huge corporation. And he's, uh, you know, taken this mission, a rescue mission, to find his son, Bart. But Bart's there with him, and Marguerite's a right stroppy little bitch. I pay a good money, great money, to look after us and guide us and secure us through these lands, but she speaks to me so horribly. I don't know what I've done to deserve it. I'm a very rich and powerful man, but I just can't tell her. Yes, this is what we want. The multi-purpose room. This is it. We, this is the key to our base. Suck it room. Now. Okay, so with the, the Degasi... Let's remind ourselves, because I've just forgotten about the Degasi crew. So, Altera search and rescue mission. So, we're searching for Bart. Lost in space near 4546B. Age at the time of... The only legitimate child of poor Torgal. Beneficiary of enhanced learning techniques of cerebral implants. Emissary Kazar, which we've heard from, reports Bart was accompanying his father to a newly constructed deep space station where he was to serve a five-year term as chief, as COO. Well, is this the deep space station, or is it up there, the deep space station? We don't know. So at some point, Paul lost Bart. That's crazy. Um, I saw something else that would be allowed to scan there. Spotlight. Here we go. Another blueprint for a spotlight. Um, what else we got? What else can we get? How fruitful is this? What's in here? Use ladder. Another PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Chief's log, five weeks since the crash. The only other survivors are my son, Bart, and Mida, the cut price mercenary I commissioned oh. on the journey. Oh. After days drifting in the life pod, rain hammering on the roof, the weather cleared and we washed up here. I had Mida salvage the Degazi wreck, set Bart to finding us a stable source of food. His education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. Our only problem is Mida. She says the weather's going to turn. 
I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. I imagine she's not gonna weaken her life without a physical altercation, and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. If she had my experience, she'd have more faith. Humans have spent millennia specializing in how to shackle nature to our will. <laughs> this planet won't cause us any new problems. My one task now is to keep us alive as comfortably as possible until the insurance company arranges rescue. In this part of space, that could be months or even years. Wow. Yes, they are at odds with Maida. They are at odds. Very much so. You stay away over there, you bitch. A water... a wall planter? Goodness me. More more ways to build stuff. It's also giving us an idea of what, what to do. Um, yeah, this is very fruitful, this place. We're going to investigate it further. Most definitely.